Good afternoon from all of us at St John's Catford. It's a particular pleasure today to welcome uh, Father Nicholas Cranfield from All Saints Blackheath. And Father Nicholas was due to be here uh, this, at this time of year to judge our art competition. Uh, but I'm very pleased that Father Nicholas is here to help with our recording of Mass today. And now we sing the Angelus as we prepare. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have heard the message of the Incarnation by the word of an angel, so we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection by his cross and passion. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we keep a moment of quiet as we prepare for Mass. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Today we celebrate the memory of Bernard Mizecki, martyr who died in the uh, Matabili Land Rebellion in the year 1896. Born in Portuguese East Africa, Bernard Mizecki went to work in Cape Town, and there he was converted to the Christian faith by the Cowley Fathers. He then gave his life as a translator and evangelist among the Mashona in what is present day Zimbabwe. He was murdered on this day in 1896 in a tribal uprising and is revered throughout Central Africa as a witness to the Gospel of Christ. And I offer this Mass for the soul of Rose Chukwu, who was buried this morning in Nigeria, and our prayers are for her and also for Helen and the rest of her family. Now we keep a moment of quiet as we recall our sins, repent of them and turn to God confident of his mercy and forgiveness. We are often slow to follow the example of Christ. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We often fail to be known as Christ's disciples. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We often fail to walk the way of the cross. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, 
and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyr Bernard Vazeki triumphed over suffering that was faithful unto death, strengthen us with your grace that we may endure reproach and persecution and faithfully bear witness to the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. There were some who pleased God and were loved by him, and while living among sinners were taken up. They were caught up so that evil might not change their understanding, or guile deceive their souls. For the fascination of wickedness obscures what is good, and roving desire perverts the innocent mind. Being perfected in a short time, they fulfilled long years. For their souls were pleasing to the Lord. Therefore he took them quickly from the midst of wickedness. Yet the people saw and did not understand, or take such a thing to heart, that God's grace and mercy are with his elect, and that he watches over his holy ones. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, I, I commend my, my spirit. spirit. Lord, how many are my adversaries? Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say to my soul, There is no help for you in your God. Into in your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I commend my spirit. spirit. But you, Lord, are a shield about me. You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. When I cry aloud to the Lord, he will answer me from his holy hill. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. I lie down and sleep and rise again, because the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of hordes of the peoples that have set themselves against me all around. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rise up, O Lord, and deliver me, O my God. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be upon your people. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world, but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm just going to say a few words this morning about Bernard Mizeki. We heard a little in the Vita from, from this book, Celebrating the Saints. However, I think what the Vita missed out were two vital parts of the story of the martyrdom of Bernard Mizeki. And though we do not officially recognise saints or name them since the Reformation, I think we're very safe in saying that Bernard Mizeki is numbered with them. And those two facts about the martyrdom of Bernard Mizeki are these, that during the Matabeleland Rebellion, that is the rebellion of the Ndebele people against the colonial authorities, Bernard Mizeki stayed where he was for two reasons. He stayed where he was in what is now uh, Zimbabwe, was then southern Rhodesia. Firstly, because he was being obedient to his bishop. Now, the, ge the general instruction had gone out during the uprising uh, that missionaries should leave their posts 
However, that instruction did not come from his bishop, and Bernard Mazepi's bishop was at that time convalescing in England, and so it would have been impossible, in fact, for his bishop to get the same instruction to him. And because he did not receive that instruction from his bishop, Bernard Mazepi remained in his post. The second important fact about his martyrdom, which is missed out from that vita that I read out, is that he was looking after an elderly man who was impossible to move at that time. And so Bernard Mazepi remained where he was, both in obedience to his bishop and to care for the man that he had been given the charge of. And both of those reasons point to something other than the care for himself. They point to obedience to the bishop, to the church, something greater than himself which he gave himself to in his ordination as a priest, and also to the care for this poor man that he would no doubt have left to his inevitable death if he had deserted his post. And so let us take the example of Bernard Mazepi to our hearts in the service of something that is bigger than ourselves, of our service of the church and of our neighbour. And let us pray too today for our brothers and sisters in the land of Bernard Mazepi's birth in Mozambique, of his formation in South Africa, and of his martyrdom in Zimbabwe. And now in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, set before us this day and in our lives the example of St. Bernard Mazepi. Help us to open our hearts to Christ and to proclaim him in word and deed to those around us and to offer up our very lives for the service of you and of our neighbour. And we pray for your church in Mozambique, in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. And we particularly pray today for our brothers and sisters in Matabili land. We pray for our friend and brother, Father Fritz, the Dean of Bulawaya Cathedral, and for Bishop Cleopas of that diocese. And we pray that they might be strengthened in this time of need as they lack both food and the money with which to pay for it, and as they undergo a harsher lockdown than our own. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this church of St John Baptist, for our wardens Sonia and Sandy during our interregnum, for the Reverend Margaret, and for our reader Alice. We pray too for the parish of All Saints Blackheath, and for Father Nicholas in his ministry there. We pray for Father Alistair, our Archdeacon, Bishops Christopher and Carraway, and our Archbishop Justin. We pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit and for wisdom for them. And as we pray for our electoral role, we pray today for June, Tisha, Jill, Robert, Bilkisu, Ngari, Barry, Gaffar, Valerie, and Barbara. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those preparing for ordination. We pray for those in this diocese whose ordination has been delayed until the autumn, that the gifts of the Spirit might be poured out upon them, and that their ministry, whether as licensed lay workers or for those waiting for priestly ordination as deacons might be blessed and that they might be a blessing to those who may serve. We 
we pray for my friend Deacon Patrick Agustin of Texas as he prepares for his ordination tomorrow. And we pray for his brother deacons and also for his brother seminarians at the North American College in Rome, whether those few who are left in Rome or those others who continue their learning and their formation back home in the United States. We pray for an increase in those called to ordained ministry. We pray too for a spirit of discernment for those who hear your call. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen and all the royal family, that they might continue to be a focus for unity and an example of service to our nation. We pray too for the Prime Minister, for all Ministers of the Crown, all Peers, Members of Parliament and Members of the Most Honourable Order of the Privy Council. We pray too for the Leader of Her Majesty's Opposition, that they might both govern and criticise constructively and for the building up of those with the least in our community. pray too for our local councillors, our mayor and our member of parliament and for all exercising authority in our land and in other nations. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. For Annie, Gillian, for two children at our school, for Peggy, Father Ian at St Lawrence's, Jane and Gillian as she supports her, Rita, Wayne, Josephine and Dinesh, and for his sister Shamila, his parents, and for his wife and children. May you build them up, surround them with your love. May they find you in their prayers, May their prayers be answered. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died in the faith of Christ and those whose faith is known to you alone. Praying particularly this day for Rose Chukwu. We pray for Helen and the rest of her family, whether able to be present at her burial or watching or praying from their homes in this country. David, who died last night. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. And rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We join our own humble prayers with those of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven, St. John Baptist, St. Mark, St. Luke, St. Barnabas, St. Bernard Mazecki, all the angels, saints, and the whole company of heaven. As we say, merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers, prayers for the for sake, sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And if we're with others at this time, let us offer one another a sign of that peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for following the example of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, your holy martyr, Bernard Mazzecchi, shed his blood for the glory of your name. His death reveals your power made perfect in our human frailty. You choose the weak and make them strong, in bearing witness to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. With joyful hearts we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven, as they praise your glory without end. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. And so far the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the mother of the Lord, St. John Baptist, St. Mark, St. Luke, St. Barnabas, St. Bernard Mazecchi, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Eternal God, who gave us this holy meal, in which we have celebrated the glory of the cross and the victory of your martyr Bernard Mazzecchi, by our communion with Christ in his saving death and resurrection, give us with all your saints the courage to conquer evil, and so to share the fruit of the tree of life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, through whom we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and your glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and love and steadfastness. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, 
rest upon you and remain with you this day and evermore. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.